The Huskers come close but fall short at 10th ranked Ohio State. Sean, let's grade this thing out offensively. Some bright spots. Yeah, a lot to like here for Nebraska. The way they executed early in this game, the way they capitalized on first half turnovers. Third quarter would be kind of the one negative. I mean, Nebraska, I thought, had a real opportunity, especially a chance to Andy to go up maybe 28-16 and, and put Ohio State in a real danger zone. Failed to execute there in that third quarter. I go B, B minus for the offensive grade. Defensively, they hung tough and kept it close. Yeah, this group really showed up. When Ohio State looked like they had the momentum in the first half, you saw two forced fumbles, one by JoJo Dolman, and Nebraska was able to get 14 points. Then they get an interception in that third quarter when Nebraska was really struggling. I'm going to go BB plus for the defense. Couldn't get off the field when it counted most, though, down the stretch. That would have probably given them an A. Special teams. Yeah, you, 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 <laughs> you look at the special teams here today uh, for Nebraska, and uh, it, it, it just got off to a bad start from the get-go. Uh, the, the botched onside kick where, uh, you know, Caleb Lightborn fell down. Um, just all everything fell apart for Nebraska. Uh, it, it really didn't hurt them that bad, though. Uh, but you just wonder if they would have executed those, what it would have meant in the long run. Uh, so you obviously go F today. Yeah, the Huskers also get a punt blocked for a safety. The bottom line is the Huskers now 2-7 and seven after losing 36-31 here in Columbus. <laughs>